awesome. It says one hour experience. What's cracking guys? Today we're at iFly in Perth, uh, George's Christmas presents from her nan. So we're gonna go in here today and let her see how it goes. She's a bit scared. How are you feeling? Mini panic attack, but that's all. <laughs> You'll be fine.
you loved it? You want to do it again? Yeah. Yeah. You guys need to do it. Huh? Baby really wants to top. You want to top? Yeah, I, I want to top or it. All right. I flew. All right. I flew. Go pick one. With ice. Go pick one. <laughs> But it was really cute wasn't you pretty painful like here. Wow. And you did bloody awesome. You're so bendy, I thought you were so bendy. Looks like she was a pretzel at one stage. <laughs> Bent in half. I can feel my back just going. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm already walking. I didn't realise I was that bendy. <laughs> We're at Aqua, Aqua Park in Perth. Two hours for 40 bucks, it's pretty good. So, spend two hours out here today doing this. Uh, NATO's birthday present for his 13th birthday. And um, yeah, have a look. In your bag. You got water skiing and all that too, that's a separate thing. It was absolutely awesome. Did our first hour session. George is back there now. Just climbed up. Going through for a second session. We've got another hour to go. Brilliant. But I tell you now, it just tells you how unfit you are. Very hard. I was puffed out in the first five minutes of doing it. So an hour on there is pretty good. I'm going back for another hour now.
cracking guys. We're at John Forest National Park in WA at the moment. Just going to go for a couple of hikes through, find out a bit more about this place. John Forest National Park, the first national park in Western Australia. Western Australia's first pri premier, Sir John Forrest, declared the 1,505 hectare as Greenmount National Park, also known as the National Park in 1900. This created Western Australia's first national park and Australia's second after the Royal National Park in Sydney. It was renamed John Forrest National Park in 1947 to honour the explorer and politician. This is Perth's bushland bush playground. The state main east-west railway passed through the park from the 1890s until the closure in 1966. The railway provided access to the park and it became popular day trip for visitors. With the park hosting two train stations the Weaver and National Park. The rail is now the Railway Reserve Heritage Trail, where walkers and cyclists can see the refurbished railway bridges and magnificent Swan View Tunnel. Created in hardship. During the depression of the 1930s, over 500 unemployed sustenance workers camped in the park and were employed to cut firewood for free distributors to struggling families. They also constructed many of the features that can still be seen at the picnic area including the rock wall terrace, garden beds and the weir and timber, timber shelters. The ancient landscape you are standing on the Darling Ranges on the western edge of the Darling Plateau. An ancient plateau comprised mainly of granite rock and capped with gravel. The granite rocks are some of the oldest rocks on earth and began forming more than 2,500 million years ago. The Darling Plateau was formed when the Darling Scalp Fault Line which extended over a thousand kilometres from Duran to beyond Bustleton. Fractured over a hundred million years ago, the edge of the plateau gradually filled from what is now the Swan, Swan Coast Plain and created the Darling Ranges, also known as the Darling Scalp. The highest point of the Darling Ranges is Mount Dale at 546 metres and Mount Cookie at 582 metres. Granite outcrops are defined features of the park. The granite bedrock was exposed where the surface was eroded away and the river valleys and steep slopes. As a result of the past weathering, the park has a number of distinct landscapes, namely lathritic uplands, valley and scar scarps. Geological weathering continues today in the site, such as Hover Falls, where the, as Jane Brook cascades over the granite. As well as being a striking feature of, in the landscape granite, outcrops providing important habitat for many species in the park. They offer the surface for lichens and moss, shelter for insects and reptiles, and the cool, moist, dark refuge for plants, amphibians, and other animals. Pools from the rainfall form on the rocks around the edges, and they become important water sources for all species. The tunnel, the most important and expensive component of the railway line, was the line construction of the tunnel. It remains today as the only one of its kind in Western Australia. Construction commenced in 1894. It took over a year to build, with two crews working from each end, cutting through the hard rock with explosives, hammers and chisels. 
it was an arduous and difficult project with three shifts working 24 hours a day. On completion, the levels and the alignments were exact over the 340 metres and is a testament to the skill and diligence of the engineers, surveyors and workmen. It was a major technical achievement and is still well respected by engineers today. The brittle nature of the rock means the brick lining was needed to stop the rocks from falling on the tracks and the trains. It requires 330,000 bricks, enough to build 36 houses today to seal the roof of the tunnel. Unfortunately, the tunnel was not well ventilated and the slow uphill movement of locomotives created noxious fumes and heat that overcome drivers and firemen. They tried to lie low in the cab and cover themselves with wet hessian bags and even experimented with air tubes to the front of the engine, but to no avail. Serious accident continued until a driver was killed in 1942. Finally, the bypass around the tunnel was built in 1945. The line was used until 1966 when it was closed and an alternate roof through the Avon Valley was constructed. See the metal? See that? That's cool, isn't it? We're going back through the tunnel. You're going to have to. The day finally came. We got to pick up our caravan after waiting two or three weeks. It was finally the day to pick it up. Um, thank you to George Day Caravans for looking after us. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant bunch of people down there. Couldn't have been any better. Uh, we're absolutely loving the van still and um, doing a lot of changes to it now. So we'll keep you updated with those changes as well a little bit later on. Um, we are changing a few things in it just to make it fit us a lot better but absolutely stoked with the outcome I don't think so. Yes. So we've done a couple of little mods already just before we've left Perth. We've put a box on the front with uh, gas bottles inside now, just a bit more of a storage box. Um, it's got air vented, so it's all vented. And we've put a DRS system, a Dometic DRS system on the roof. Uh, just a, it's a dust reduction system. We had one on our other caravan, absolutely brilliant. And we added in a new jockey wheel also. Um, 
prefer the jockey wheels because it's a bit more adjustable with the trucks. So there's the first couple little mods. What's cracking, guys? We're in the town of Bustleton, WA. Um, absolute cracker place on the foreshore here. I'm gonna go for a walk. Uh, supposed to be the longest wooden pole jetty in Southern Hemisphere. So I'm gonna go for a walk on that. I think it's 1.8 k's and keep looking around town a bit more. Take you on this one adventure. One Ship. Spot it, so credit this is awesome, this area. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. Like you've got it all. It's all. It's all netted off too. Yeah. You got one of those things in there, G. Yeah. The water. One, a little water parking thing. Water park and all that. Nice. Dogs prohibited on beach. Seagulls aren't. Um, Looks all right, doesn't it? Warm, but I don't know if it's skinny where the warm. Who knows? The water could be warm. Oh, beautiful. And brewery over there. No, you can get the rail down there. No. Ticket. What? Over there, like fish cleaning station. No, under. Oh, it's just rocks or. Just those houses you see there, I'm pretty sure that's thunder. Okay, where the smoke is, where the fires are at the moment. Yeah. Thunder. Oh, okay. Part of the old, still part of the old original jetty that wasn't taken down by the cyclone. So as you can see, that skeleton gets a bit further on. Still part of the original one. It's the only section really I think that's left of the old jetty. Come on. What are you doing? Seventy-five percent achieved. This might actually just be a ship. Nice tall ship. I need the sock. Oh, well. I don't know. It's suspenders. Thank you. 
Oh. No basket up there, no. No? No basket up there. Sit in. <laughs> no, got a, we've got a trampoline up there. <laughs> <laughs> Old ship with modern, modern amenities all on it. <laughs> they know. They know. Hmm. What did they say? A blue sign was saying, you made it. Yeah, probably at the end. Right at the end. June to November, the whales here. Underwater observatory. Yeah, no. The whales are the same, don't you make it? <laughs> Without knowing where, how far away you are from places. Oh, phew. I was wondering how far from London I am. Mm. <laughs> Cape Town, take, New I'll York. I think the Melbourne one they said at the moment to be extra picky. Because it's like, not already fixed with us enough. <laughs> yeah, um, that's as a crow flies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, hello, Lamparoo. Yeah, we want to know where that is. We want to know where Singapore is. Of course we do. Yeah, I would say so. 13,677. Oh, it's 18 Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. What's in New York? Probably got over there as well. Yeah. New York, where's um. Oh, of course, we want to know yeah, where. Tor Toronto's the furthest. Yeah, we want to know where Paris is at all times. <laughs> End of the jetty, looking out to see what direction it's are you facing. New York. Oh. Like he's going straight. Yeah, don't go down the mountain. Why not? It's got the yellow line. Here comes Easter. 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 Purchase the train from Madari to the Green Onion. If you have four cylinder petrol power loco. You can purchase a train? It's called the birdie sitting on it. Mm -hmm. Can you find huh? the odd one out? Can I what? Find the odd bird out. The odd bird? The one on the end, the pigeon? Yeah, 
There's another one here. Right there. On the end of this. Oh, okay. Pigeon here. Not much left of the old pit, the original. The original part of the jetty. Yeah. 